for stopping by guys i hope all is well fantastic and fabulous your way i am here on this beautiful friday and i say that because it's been raining oh my goodness it has been raining 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 and it is scheduled to rain more today but right now the sun is out and it's not gloomy and cloudy and i'm excited so I want to share with you guys, as you can tell by the title, this um, little Barbie haul. Um, as you guys know, I accumulate the stuff and then I try to put it in one haul and share with you guys what I found. I have my mini me here and my latest um, body head swap. And she's here with us to do this little um, haul video with you guys. I really like this doll. Um, she's one of the basic Barbies. And I don't know what year. But I really like the basic Barbies. And she's such a unique doll with such a beautiful face. That I thought that I had to put her on a made to move body. And I don't regret it at all. I do have another that's on the regular body for my collection. But I just love it so much. And my mini me wanted a little company here with her to help with the haul. So let's go ahead and let me show you what I've got. You guys know I'm a big Barbie fan. But right now there's not a lot of stuff on the market <laughs> right now that interests me. But I have went crazy over the fashion packs and accessories. And a lot of this stuff is older stuff. But when you find a great deal, I can't pass it up. Now, I've been working on my doll room for a few weeks now, trying to get things organized so that I can have them displayed better. And I've put some things in plastic containers, which is something I hate to do. But come on, when you run out of space, I'm not going to stop buying, though I have been doing pretty good. But then I said, you know, I found another way to display a lot of my boxed dolls that I haven't had the opportunity to unbox yet but they're gonna get unboxed so they kind of got moved out of the doll room and put in another location so that freed up space on my shelving in here for more of my fashionistas and you know more of my playline Barbies that I like to photograph and you know play around with so it has freed up a lot of space in here, and I'm really excited about that. But then, darn, I'm steadily picking up things on clearance and great deals. But let's go ahead, without any more delay, let's go ahead and jump into the little haul that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so let's start here with these um, basketball players to make to move. Guys, I... I go online all the time because, you know, we can't go out and do doll hunts anymore. So I spend a lot of time online, more time than I should. But, you know, I do set a budget. And once I meet the budget, you know, I don't care. I don't look anymore because if I look, I'm tempted to shop and purchase. But I got these um, made-to-move Barbies for $8 um, on the Walmart.com site. Okay, I picked up three of them. And the thing of it is, I went back to look like an hour later after I had done, filled my shopping cart and made my purchase, they had jumped back up to $29.97 each. So they completely were out of stock of the ones that were um, $8. So I'm really, really pleased about that. So I picked up three of them because, guys, let's face it. Once they are no longer in production, they go they, they end up in different locations, and then people want them for body donors. Now, I, I do do a little head swapping, but I don't stock them for that. I really want to make me a basketball team, and I think I got enough now for a Barbie basketball team. So that was the thing behind that, and they're all going to have the same number, number 59, but that's going to be my Barbie basketball team. So that was my... Um, idea behind purchasing three more of the um, tall because she is the tall basketball player made to move body so I picked those up 
from walmart.com for eight dollars a piece thought it was a great deal and i could not pass it up so in that same purchase i ended up getting another number 105 okay i already own two maybe three of them already but this doll was two dollars then they gave me 25 cents off of the two dollars if i didn't want immediate shipping so of course i checked that box and she was a dollar and 75 cents and you know i i own several of these each one of them i'm telling you they have different faces they don't look but this one is so beautiful and you know to purchase them online and not be able to pick it up in person you know you're kind of nervous but she is a beautiful doll and again I went back. They uh, they had limited stock. I could only get one. She was the only one that was available. So it was like it was meant for her to end up in my collection. But she ended up coming the same time as the original item that I ordered in the um, same order. I ordered the basketball player, Fashionista number 105. And yes, I finally broke down and got Merman King. It was, it was time. I was waiting for my local Walmart to mark this handsome guy on clearance or at least sale price, but they never did. And because I wanted free shipping from my Walmart item, I decided to throw him in my shopping cart. You know, he's $7.97 and he's worth $7.97. I mean, he's such a handsome kid. And I went ahead and I got him. So I ended up getting the three basketball players and this can and this beautiful fashionista 105 in my order from walmart and i was very excited about that for the price point that i got so that was one walmart purchase walmart.com and again like i said i took the 25 cent discount to get her at a later date and it was only like maybe two days but she ended up coming in the same package all of them came in different um deliveries Okay, so let's go on and start get this guy down here on this end. All right, this is, of course, Fashionista number 131. Guys, I already own probably four of him right now, but <laughs> I love his outfit. And when I see this doll or any Barbie doll of Ken or any kind for $2, I'm going to get it because the outfit is worth that to me. And this is one of my favorite fa um, Kenyan fashionistas. Number 131 is such a handsome guy. I just like him. And Amazon, for some odd reason, you know, that's how they do. They do the same thing Walmart does. They had him for $2. I couldn't get him immediately. I had to wait for like a week but they were going to ship him out as soon as he came available in stock well he ended up coming earlier than they predicted and i ended up picking up two of him and they were two dollars a piece and he ended up like i said coming earlier than before at two dollars i can't help but continue to just keep my little fashionista shelf restocked and again like i said you guys know i have a grandbaby that loves to play with my barbies so I can never get too many of those. So that was another uh, purchase. And that came from Amazon.com. You know, it just comes from having a lot of extra time on your hands. You know, I, I saw it and I just couldn't pass up a deal. I don't have the willpower yet to see a handsome fashionista for $2 and not get it. I just didn't. But... I decided to go ahead and get this and this right here that I'm getting ready to show you these three sets is it three sets yeah it's three four pieces these next four items I'm going to show you came from Walmart in store you know when I go in to do my essential pick up pick up my essential items I'm going to sneak to the doll section the Barbie section rather and see what they've got they still don't have any new stock. They don't have anything on clearance, guys. My local Walmart has put some new permanent stickers on the shelving of the new prices. And I just assume that means they're going to be that price for a long time. Nothing new. Nothing restocked. Um, and look, Walmart and Target and Amazon are leading the sales worldwide. I mean, because this pandemic did not affect them at all. And, you know, and it's hurting a lot of the small businesses. And I won't go there, but they don't have to mark their stuff down because we kind of stuck with being um, 
we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. This is where we can shop. We can get convenient shopping and, you know, kind of affordable prices at the point. But $3.97 and $3.94. But, you know, I told you guys, a lot of these fashion packs were not my favorites at first. But because I am a collector of the fashion packs and I'm learning that if I don't pick it up when it's available for me, later on if I change my mind, and I do do that a lot, the price has went up on Amazon. Um, you know, Amazon has them are either third part sellers have the second part, 30 parties have them and the prices are crazy. So I went ahead and got it. I like the hoodie. I like the sleeveless hoodie. Not that big of a fan of the skirt, but again, I, I wanted it in my collection. So I picked it up. I already own the Puma. I already own this, but I had to grab another one because $3.94 and it was the last one on the shelf. Don't know if they're going to stock any more of them. And you can get these right now on Amazon.com anyway. So, you know, it's not like they are rare and hard to find. But I finally broke down and picked up the last Barbie Ken fashion pack that I did not have in my collection. Um, so now my whole set is complete. And when I picked it up, it was the very last one. They didn't have any more of the Barbie and Ken fashions. And when I was in local, my local Walmart at the beginning of the week doing my um, once a week or twice a week run in Walmart, they had no more Barbie and Ken fashion packs. It's like they're finding odd things in the back and bringing them out, but no new stock. So I ended up getting that one. And I ended up picking up this one because I really like it. And I, I just like it. I like the color scheme in here. And again, like I told you guys, they have the new price of $6.97 on these fashion packs. Just saving like a dollar, you know. And if you're going to buy it anyway, why not? But this was the very last one on the shelf. So I went ahead and got it because I said, you know, they might not restock it. But I love that top there. I like the little jacket. I like everything in this fashion set. So all of these were Walmart pickups. And then this also, and I can't remember which trip. It might have been this trip. Because sometimes I pick up, just pick up one or two things. But I did not have this little um, set here in my um, collection. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up because it... I, I didn't see it. You know, it's like sometimes I don't know if I just, I'm looking so hard, I'm missing things. But it was back on the shelf and I went ahead and got it. I want to say I think it was $8. I think it was $8. But I went ahead and got this because I do collect these and I do like these little sets. And, you know, I come on, this is from the Barbie um, Dreamhouse series, Netflix, you know, so I had to pick that up. It's really cute. So I picked that up also from my local Walmart on one of my um, trips in Walmart. And then last but not least, I picked up these three fashion packs here from Amazon.com because I have not been out to Target. From what I'm understanding, Target, these packs are in Target stores or either on Amazon.com. I have not seen these fashion, these Puma, Puma fashion packs at Walmart.com. Um, they don't sell them on the Target site. From what I understand, you, ha you have to go in the store. But ever since the quarantine started, I haven't been to Target. You know, I'm trying to follow the rules. I only go out when I absolutely have to. And I would be making a special trip just to do this. So I went ahead and ordered them from um, Amazon because they're the same price at the store in Target as they are at Amazon, $9.99. So I picked up this one, and I really like this set because this one comes with a pair of Puma sneakers, and I really love the purple hoodie. I like it a lot. It comes with a lot of cool accessories. And then we have this set here that doesn't come with the shoes, but it does have that cool um, Puma beanie back there that I like. Not that big a fan of this onesie, um set um, outfit but I'm pretty sure my dolls will rock it really well and then last but not least we have this Puma set here I love the color scheme of this one wish I had a got a pair of shoes but I love the purse I love that Puma purse and again I love this pink and this burgundy 
you know, wine color um, that they blended together there. So I'm really excited about that. There is one more pack of this Barbie Puma that I need to get to have my complete set. And I've got it in my shopping cart at Amazon. And I'm kind of waiting to see if there's something else I want to purchase with it. And I'm going to tell you guys why. My mail carrier, Amazon puts these things, things that they can put in an envelope. And I don't know, Amazon, if you're listening, when you put things in those packing envelopes, your packages get mashed. And you know, most of the time, I'm not a collector that's going to keep it in the box anyway. Most of the time, I'm going to take it out of the box if it's not one of my collectible items that I'm going to keep in box for a while. But when I purchase something brand new, I don't expect to get it jammed in my mailbox. If the mail carrier can fit it in the mailbox, guess what? My mail carrier stuffs it in the mailbox. And then when I go and take my stuff out of the mailbox, it's smashed, it's smashed, you know, it's damaged. And then I'm really kind of teed off about it. Now, when I ordered the three Puma fashion packs together, I guess Amazon was forced to put it in a box. So they had no other choice but to put it in a box in the mail carrier had to bring it to the house. But guess what she did? She left the darn package on the ground. Not on the step, not on my bench, but she just left it there on the ground. So, you know, I guess she feels like if I got, you know, th and this came on a Sunday, guys. Came on last the Sunday, Sunday of this week. So it's kind of like, I don't know what is going through these mail carriers' mind. And it's not all of them. They're not the regular mail carrier that I usually get. And I guess with Amazon um, and the U.S. Post Office having this um, business um, collaboration, um, delivering the packages, you know, they've got different people. But I don't understand, as a mail carrier, why you would think it is okay to leave a person's package on the ground. And even though my ground is a sidewalk, you know, it's cemented, it's still on the ground. When the steps are right there, the step was right there. You didn't even have to take an extra step. You could have just leaned a little bit and put my box on the step. But, you know, again, and then I ordered my um, collectible Barbie and the same thing happened with my packages. You know, I know I'm rambling on and talk, gri griping and complaining, but I'm just making a statement. You know, I know that everybody's working hard and everybody has a hard job. But when you start getting to the point where you don't take pride in what you do, you might need to find another job. I mean, seriously, because people work very hard to pay for this stuff. And we do rely on our packages being delivered. And no, these Barbie fashion packs aren't essential items. But the thing of it is, <laughs> I pay for it. It is your job to deliver it. It's none of your business what's in the packet or not in the packet. And, you know, I'm just over it right now. So I want to order the fourth um, Puma pack, but I don't want it stuffed in my mailbox. And I know if I order one item, that's what Amazon's going to do. They're going to put it in that little padded envelope and it's going to get bashed up. When I get it, it's going to be split in half because they're going to be, it's going to be jammed in the mailbox. But not trying to bash all mail carriers, but just like with anything in this world, you've got a few bad apples that will ruin it for the whole crew. And, you know, I'm just saying, it's, it is what it is. And the truth is the truth. <laughs> but, guys, I, I just had to share that with you guys because I was just so furious. I actually did a video of her leaving my package at on the ground. And I sent it to my daughter, and she was just so tickled. But I just had to share that with you guys. I really do. You know, we, we just got too much time on our hands now, I guess. But I'm not a griper. I'm not a complainer. But there comes to a point sometimes where you have to just, you just have to take a stand and stand up for what's right. And what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And I'm just, I'm just saying. But hope you guys enjoyed the low haul. I like to share my great finds with you when I find stuff, my little tips and, you know, all the great ideas out there. You know, there's not a lot of sales online right now with Barbie. I don't know what's going on with Mattel. Um, I'm hearing that there is going to be some new BMR 1959 dolls coming out. I have seen some pics 
of one of them on my um Instagram. Um, she's adorable, but I haven't seen her available for sale. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Guys, again, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to stop by and see what Ruby Red's World of Dolls has got going on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'm Ruby Red's World of Dolls there as well. Guys, continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next review. That means you're extra, extra, extra. Extra, extra.